Hey friends, today we are hanging out at Epcot and we are finally going to be able to ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. I am so excited to bring you guys along with me, show you guys everything that I can show you. So be warned, there are going to be some spoilers. And then also we're going to eat at Connections Eatery for the first time because all of this stuff opened while I was in Disneyland and today's the day. Anywho's, let's go do this. There it is, Connections Eatery. This opened while I was away on vacation and I'm excited to try all the food, but what I'm more excited for is the ride Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. This ride has been probably my most anticipated ride and I am so happy that it's finally opening up and we got a special preview today. We're gonna head straight on over to Guardians of the Galaxy first because it's time for our preview. And like I said, spoilers warning, like a spoiler warning, we are gonna be showing the queue, we're gonna be showing the ride, everything. Like we're all about it and I am so excited. And uh, afterwards, maybe we'll get ourselves a drink. And of course, like I said, we're gonna eat at Connections Eatery and just enjoy a day at Epcot. And here we are. It is time. I am so excited. I've been staring at this ship from outside looking over walls for the longest time and now we're right here up close and personal and I am pumped. This ride is going to be amazing. I already know it. I purposely wore my Infinity War Roosevelt shirt just for this ride because I thought it was fitting. You know what I mean? It has all of the different infinity stones and the gauntlet and if I had a guardian shirt I would wear that but this one it's a good one right there is the treasures of Xandar hopefully we get to come through that as we leave and then over here is the entrance and I love it oh look there's a monorail that was timed perfectly I'm so excited for this ride here it is, the sign for the attraction, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind. Be aware that you will be transported to a Nova Cruiser orbiting above Terra for a demonstration which will consist of thrilling high-speed turbulent, what Utarians would call a roller coaster type ride that goes forward and backward through the dark. It includes sharp turns, sudden drops, and stops. Doesn't that sound exhilarating? Wonders of Xandar. <laughs> this is so cool. Greetings and welcome, Terrans, to the Wonders of Xandar. I am Worldmind, the Zandarian supercomputer. My purpose is to preserve the knowledge and history of Zandar. Your scholar, Peter Quill, has been teaching me about your world. He has suggested that if I want to start my journey of understanding the complex and intricate Terran mind, I should look no further than the sage words of a great Terran classic. Oh, on a <laughs> oh, that is cool. This queue is pretty amazing. And it's a huge queue, so that means that whenever the lines get super long, I'm pretty sure it can be held all inside. And that's awesome because no one wants to wait outside. You know what I mean? Especially when it's a long wait and it's nice and AC'd. Oh, yeah. This is the way. This is how you do it. It's so nice and cool in here. I kind of don't want to rush it. I'm like walking so slow through the queue because I want to take everything in. As our urban center became this, wow. a central canal and a supporting water. And now we go back to Gattis. And here he is now. Peter, what do you have to say about this? Well, that was totally my idea. And Epcot, too, because I love that place. It's awesome. <laughs> I went there as a kid, and I, 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 I cannot wait to get to go back and ride Horizons. Also want to see the energy, dinosaurs, and of course, hear the veggie veggie fruit fruit. 
<laughs> oh man. <laughs> I love the fact that they had Peter Quill talking about Epcot and Horizons and Universe of Energy. That was kind of cool and I bet you a lot of people got excited. And also, Veggie Veggie Fruit. Alright, it's time to head in for the pre-show. I'm so excited. Like, I keep on saying I'm excited because I am beyond excited. Also, look at my shirt. It fits perfectly in here. I also like how they have this big room in here. Kind of reminds me of the pre-show room for Universe of Energy. Like, it's so nice in here. Forward into the welcome center, making room for everyone. Thank you. I am Nova Prime Irani Rayan, Commander of the Nova Corps. On behalf of all Xandarians, I hope you have enjoyed exploring the wonders of Xandar. As you have seen, your world and ours were born at the same moment, one which you refer to as the Big Bang. As such, we are all galactic neighbors in a vast universe which we and countless others share. For you to travel to Xandar would take two and a half million years, assuming you had a ship that could fly at the speed of light. So we decided to come to you. But even we could not have reached you so easily were it not for the cosmic generator. Welcome, people of Epcot. Epcotters. Epcotians. Citizens of Epcot. Does anyone know what they call themselves? Okay, before we begin, I should warn you that we have never teleported terrors before. But since your molecular structure is very similar to Zandarians, it should work. It'll work. So long as you are standing inside the lighted ring, you do not want to know what happened last time someone did not stand where I told them to, okay? Stand by for teleportation. Everyone in. Here we go, front row, row number, uh, round number two, row number one. <laughs> Well, okay, I walked onto your vehicle. We'll be right behind you. Nothing to worry about. We'll 
else, we cannot stop this unusually large man. Then you are likely doomed. and process everything that just happened, but I have to tell you right now, this might be maybe my new favorite attraction. Like, I am so happy, uh, and our song choice was Everybody Wants to Rule the World, and I was like, you gotta be kidding me! So much, but we're gonna settle down a little bit, then we're gonna discuss, and I'm gonna give you like a little bit more details, but I loved it so much. That was seriously so amazing. And like I said, once we calm down a little bit, get our composure, uh, I'm gonna break it down, talk about a little bit of the Easter eggs and whether I like certain ride types, cause we rode it more than once. So whether the front row, the back row, it was just so cool. But take a look at this view right here. Isn't that breathtaking? Okay. I think I got myself under control, but that was amazing. I rode it multiple times. I got so many different songs. Every time you ride it, they give you a different song, and I think there's a set list of like six different songs. So we got uh, Disco Inferno, and we've got uh, Everybody Wants to Rule the World, which that one was my favorite. Blondie was in there, like it was so amazing. And I have to say, I rode front and back, both sides, because there's two different tracks there, and I loved the front. It was so cool, and if you want to know about the restraints, the restraints were so easy and accommodating. I loved it. It's not too much like on a thrill. There's no loops. There's no, uh, you know, inversions. It's just really smooth, and it, it, a lot of people compare it to like rock and roller coaster because of the dark factor and the launch sequence, and also Space Mountain. But it's just something on its own. Like it is so good. But the best thing to take away from it is like how smooth it is very very smooth like you almost feel weightless when you're actually gliding through like you're gliding and uh yeah i think my mom can ride this ride and laugh about it but at the same time it's still thrilling and it's just great a lot of screens very dark but the lighting everything was amazing and i cannot wait to ride it again like 
I will wait. I will wait a long time to actually ride this ride. And I'll be like that for a while. And I'm sure, as you guys know, Disney announced they're gonna be using a virtual queue when the ride actually opens. So like, I'm gonna try my best. It's gonna be like Rise of the Resistance over and over again. But if they do switch to the standby line, I'd give it a good two, maybe three hour wait. I liked it that much. All right, now that we got the Guardians business taken care of, I think it's time to head into Connections Eatery and eat some food. I wanna try as much as possible, and here's a look at the menu. They got the French Bistro Burger, a Southwestern Burger, some chicken sandwiches, the five cheese pizza, I'm definitely getting a meatball pizza, General Saul chicken salad, some good items right here. Wow, this is my first time being over here and I like it. It's a lot of space. That's a good thing because I feel like before, like in a lot of quick service locations, Disney was always like congested and it was very like tiny, but there is so much space now. So people aren't really gummed together and I like it. I decided to mobile order because I thought it might have been faster, but I really think if you just walk up and order, it's a little bit quicker because this one gives you a return time and my return time's not for another 20 minutes, but I got a little bit of everything. I got some meatball pizza, I got the burger, I got the waffle, so it's gonna be good. I'm gonna try a little bit of, uh, a little bit of it all. Oh wow, they even have the fancy silverware here. Look at this, might get a little bit of everything. That is the way. You know they're pulling out all the stops when they got real silverware. Holy moly, I got a lot of food. Like, it, when you're ordering it, it, you know what I mean, you don't think, but now I'm looking at it, I'm like, that's a lot of food. Now all of this cost me $31, and I cannot wait to show you guys. First we got the French Bistro Burger, then we got the meatball pizza, and look how cheesy that is. Look at that cheese right there. And then we got the waffle. I've heard extraordinary things about the waffle, so I don't know what I should start with first, because I don't want that waffle to, you know, get cold. I think we're gonna dive right on into the waffle first. Desserts first, that's what you could do when you're an adult. I just ran into some friends from Buffalo, New York, and they gave me a challenge coin. Look at that, I love it. And they're dispatchers, so that's really awesome. Thank you so much. All right, let's dive into this waffle first. Oh boy, I don't wanna mess it up, but, oh, that looks good. It's still soft, I can tell. I'm gonna twist it, twist it. That's the best way to break it off. Make sure we get a little bit of everything on there. Get some of that whipped cream, get some of that strawberry. Bada bing, bada boom. And in the morning, we're having waffles. <laughs> Wow, that is so fluffy and airy. I love this. Yeah, like, so this was like a big hype, a lot of my friends told me, right down Main Street, but this is like really good. Holy moly. I love when a quick service location has something that you feel like would be like served at like a signature restaurant. And that's how this waffle is, like seriously. And it doesn't have to be a dessert. Technically, we're having breakfast first before we eat our lunch, and it's brunch. And just think of the possibilities because they can have like seasonal different waffles, like pumpkin waffles for Halloween, and then uh, peppermint waffles. I don't know if that mixes well, but there's a lot of good possibilities here. Enough of the waffle business though. Let's head on over to the pizza. And look at these plates. I really like the plates. It's kind of cool. I'm gonna see if we can pick this up and maybe do a fold. I don't know. Doesn't look like it has a strong undercarriage here. Oh yeah, not so strong at all. In fact, I might just eat a meatball. I might just have a meatball on its own. One meatball. We gotta try the meatball on its own. Okay, meatball. Okay, now that we got that meatball taken care of, because it was hanging off, and I felt like if I was gonna like fold it and bite it, it probably would have fell. So I think we're clear for a liftoff. When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Look, I gotta hold a fork for the back end here. Oh boy, here we go. Okay. Now, 
It's a good pizza offering for quick service, but I mean, if you're in Epcot, I would rather go get Via Napoli or from the pizza window. And maybe Pizza Rizzo. I don't know. I mean, it's good. I like the meatballs. The crust is really good too, but I don't know. There's just something about it. I mean, it, it just tastes like pizza. It's very soft, very uh, like uh, thick, like thick crust. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's okay. I would get it, you know what I mean, if I wanted some pizza for quick service, but I wouldn't like say it's the best pizza in the world. Now let's get to the French Bistro Burger. And I've been snacking on the French fries and those are phenomenal. I think there's a special seasoning on it here, but I like the French fries a lot. I'll tell you one thing about the burger though. They definitely don't skip on the bacon. It looks like there's like four pieces of bacon on there and I'm excited. I didn't get the cheese mayonnaise. I'm not the biggest mayonnaise fan, but we're just gonna try it like it is. It's a good burger. For real, this is a good burger, especially coming from a quick service. Like, a lot of times I hear people talking about the food and like kind of like putting it at a level of like sit down with dining prices. Like I said, this is almost two meals and a dessert for $31. That's amazing. And for quick service, this is way better than Cosmic Rays. You know what I mean? It's way better than the burger probably that was that electric umbrella. I'll be honest. I have to be honest though, out of everything, the waffle just keeps me coming back for more. Keeps me coming back for more. Baby, you're all that I want. With your whipped cream and strawberries. Now that we got done eating in Connections Eatery, which I gotta say, like I said, the waffle was my favorite, then probably the burger, and then the, the, then the pizza. But I do wanna try the General Saul's chicken salad. Uh, I think we'll just hop over to Connections Cafe so I can show you what the Starbucks is like. I know that it's probably been out for a while, but still wanna give you a peek see, you know, and I wanna take a look. Literally, we were sitting right there for Connections Eatery, and now right over here is Connections Cafe. And I love how you can watch them actually prepare things. Like, isn't that so cool? I like it. I don't even know what they're making there. Probably croissant? A croissant? What's it? What are you making? What's that? Good stuff. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Oh, fancy. Oh, well, thank you. I don't think she can hear me. <laughs> but here is the uh, the uh, Connections Cafe, the Starbucks. The new Starbies here. I like it, lots of room, lots of room. Now that we got to check out the Connections Cafe and Eatery, let's make our way into World Showcase and uh, just explore around a little bit. It's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. I got to ride Guardians of the Galaxy. All is well in the world. I do need to stop for a second and just look out at this beautiful view. Look at this. Man, I love Epcot. That is so amazing, isn't it? Like, it's like a waterway going right to Spaceship Earth. Actually, but it's not, but like from this angle, it looks like it, and I just love it. Now that we've made it into World Showcase, I wanted to stop at the refreshment port and get the lavender martini, vodka with lavender and lemon. And I seen someone walking around with it and it looks so refreshing and it being a hot day, I think it's a good idea. I think a nice, nice lavender, icy cold beverage sounds perfect. The funny thing about this lavender martini is, I don't know if you guys remember, uh, maybe like two or three food festivals ago, I ate lavender and it was the worst thing that I've ever eaten before. I guess I'm gonna try it now. No. No, no. Beth, you can have my lavender. Just give it a bite. I think it's more for smelling. You don't like that. You're kidding. No. Cheers, Cheers. to our lavender martini. Minus the lavender. Yeah, after we ate it. Drinks good. Oh yeah, that's very refreshing. A little bit strong. It is strong. Yeah. <laughs> there is a squirrel. I'm not going to hurt you, but it seems like you're trying to steal my <laughs> lavender martini here. Right? Look, it came up right here, or my phone, or something. That is not the same squirrel. Hi. He's like, please, sir. I always brought a friend now. 
I know, that's why I said he's not the same squirrel. Because this guy's still right here. Oh, now they're coming together. Why do squirrels suddenly appear every time? <laughs> the coast is clear. The squirrels are gone. Now the birds have come out. I, honestly, like, there's no food here even. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. <laughs> Now that we've had fun story time with squirrels and birds, I think we're going to make our way back out to the front of the park. Maybe a quick trip on Figment. Oh, also cookie butter warms and dirt. That looks really good. I don't think I can handle it though. It's so funny. We go from Guardians of the Galaxy, which is basically going to be a standout attraction here at Epcot, to the next standout attraction, Journey into Imagination with Figment. I love it. I am so excited to get out of the sun, and it's actually Mike's second time riding Figment, right? Number two. Number two. Tell me about your first one. You know, you get off a ride like Figment, and uh, you kind of wonder, what just happened to me? What just happened to me? <laughs> Dr. Nigel Channing, what just happened to me? <laughs> Seriously, this is one of my favorite rides to actually come and cool down. Like, it's it's an okay ride. It's, a, it's fun. Everyone loves Figment, but... It's great to get out of the heat. The AC is always good, and there's never a wait. We walked right in. Bye! Welcome, welcome, welcome to our special drive through open house. I'm Dr. Michael Channing, Chairman of the Imagination Institute. Hello! On your tour, you'll see how the five human senses can help capture your imagination. Who is this? It's Figment! Figment? I thought I told you not to interfere. But you've got it wrong, Doc. It's not about listening with your ears. It's about listening with your imagination. Now I'm continuing now, if I may, in a calm, scientific, Figment-free manner. The things we see with our eyes can control the eyes of the imagination. But let's begin by using the eye chart to test your vision. Now, I hope that you get like a vanilla scent this time. Fingers crossed. What time would you get a skunk last time? Or oh, the grass one is good. Jasmine, orange, anything. I love to. This is not a good time. It's always a good time to use your imagination. So let the good times roll. It's a skunk again! <laughs> oh, yes. Really oh. Give it to me! <laughs> what is going on? You're turning this entire open house upside down! Upside down? Now you're talking about And now that we uh, got off the ride, maybe we'll catch Vanellope coming out of the link chamber. Oh, look it. I think it's happening. Here she comes. Oh! That's awesome. Yeah, go ahead. Nice. Have fun, Joey. <laughs> Bye. 
Figment always cools me down. I love going for a ride and it is so hot out today. I'm not even sure how hot it is. I gotta check the temperature. Usually I just Google the temperature. Let's see. What is the temperature in Walt Disney World? 93, 93 degrees out. Holy moly. And I feel it. But uh, I think we're gonna make our way back out to the front of the park, maybe cut through Creations and see if they have any good new merchandise. And I don't know, take it from there. I'm always on the hunt for a new spirit jersey and I'm actively looking for the Main Street Electrical Parade spirit jersey. I don't even know if they exist. I just heard that they couldn't drop them for the debut at Disneyland and uh, I hear Disney World's been getting some of it. So I'm just gonna keep looking, you never know. Well, I see tons of Main Street Electrical Parade stuff. They have the ears, they have the wishables, and they even have this shirt right here. But no spirit jersey yet, but the shirt is nice. Look at that Mickey on there. Isn't that cool? But not on the spirit jerseys. So hopefully we'll keep our eye out. Well, now we made our way back out and I think we're gonna call it a day. It is a very, very hot day. And I had so much fun riding Guardians of the Galaxy. We rode it multiple times and when we were initially in there, it actually went down. So we were stuck in the queue for two hours, but it was worth the wait and I loved it. And also the food at Connections Eatery. It was great to try everything and just be back at Epcot. Let me know what you guys think of the ride. Uh, and uh, yeah, just give me my like opinions about it. I think it's a very smooth roller coaster. No uh, big drops, a couple of launches. Uh, some screens, so you might have uh, some motion sickness if you don't like stuff like that, but it's not like 3D screens. It's dark in there, so it won't affect your eyes too much. And uh, yeah, I don't know, the best way to compare it to, I think, is if Slinky Dog Dash was indoors and it was just some amazing music in the dark. Like, that's how I, that's like my fair assessment. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.